This is Eamon Khan here from Boxing Social in association with Betfred. Joined today on a Sunday, Tuesday evening with MVP Michael Venom Page as he gets ready for August 20th. His showdown with Mike Perry, Mike Platinum Perry. First of all, Michael, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Firstly, I'm feeling that top. That top is. Uh gangster. Rick and Morty <laughs> fan? I'm a Rick and Morty fan, yeah, go man. On. Trust me, that's, a, that's sick. But yeah, I'm feeling good. Okay. Favourite character, Rick and Morty? Oh, it has to be the main man, though, isn't it? Yeah. Rick, it has to be the main man, Rick. He's just, he just something else, man. Like, he just makes the whole show. Yeah, so definitely Rick. <laughs> good man. I wasn't expecting that. I get a few comments from uh, Tops where some wrestling Tops too as well, but I thought yeah, I'd I love it. I love bring it. out the Rick and Morty. But let's get to you. We're here for you, Michael. Um, August 20th, Mike Perry. Um, Break this down for me in terms of Michael. Uh, you've seen his his fights beforehand. It's bare knuckle this time round. How do you think the fight will play, and what do you think the challenges he's going to bring to you when you step through the ropes with him? To be fair, the challenges are very similar to what you know most people attempt to do in, in my fights, especially people that are you know want to stand with me. Is they feel like being in close and battling themselves to get close to me is the right thing because I'm a long, lengthy fighter. Um, I work well from the outside. The thing is, covering that space is difficult, especially with how fast my feet move. Um, he's going to try, but he's going to take a lot of damage doing so. And then if he sits back and tries to think about how to get in, he's going to take a lot of damage doing so. It's just, a, it's just not a good fight for him, stylistically. Yeah, do you feel that then your style that you've had previously in your MMA career lends well to what you're going to be doing on August 20th, using that boxing, maybe bringing up the boxing a lot more and having them at range and if you need to, trading with them and getting the better room in those exchanges? No, 100%. Obviously, uh, anybody that's seen me cross over to just general boxing, um, when I did exactly the same thing, I, I was still myself. Uh, I made it hard for anybody that to, to kind of cover that distance and close. And when they did, they were walking in and running into a lot of heavy shots. So yeah, definitely, it's definitely something that he's going to struggle with. You and him are both big personalities. What, what do you make of Mike just in general as a person? To be fair, I only met him the first time when he came over for our, you know, our first face off. And um, yeah, no, it was, uh, it was good. It was good. He, I have to say he's a, he seems like a very chill guy. From in terms of and respectful in terms towards me, I don't know how he is in general. A lot of people are like, "Oh yeah, this he's got history of this, history of that." I always go by how people treat, treat me. Um, he was very respectful, um, and you know we got on. It was cool. There was no, there's no ill will, but we. I just know this guy is gonna come to go to war, and the same for me. After I stir the pot a little bit, I watched an interview with, with Mike. He brought out the Dragon Ball Z references. He mentioned that he's planning to drop a spirit bomb onto you. Uh, some interesting trash talk there. Uh, what's your thoughts on that one? <laughs> I'm a Dragon Ball Z fan, Same. so uh, I'll definitely, uh, I'm going to have to become Broly for that one <laughs> and destroy him. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just in terms of that boxing style, how have you found the training, like ad adaptations from the MMA style to the bare knuckle training? How has that kind of switched up? To be fair, it's, it's very similar to just doing boxing rounds. The rounds are slightly more intense simply because it's two minutes. So the, it's weird that people feel like because it's less time, you do less work. I actually feel with less time, you, you're more inclined to do more work. So, yeah, I think it's just the, the training has been very intense. Um, doing a little bit of conditioning work for, for your knuckles. But that's it, really. It's still the same way I'd train for a boxing fight. Drunken Massa style still coming out through as well? Oh man, I, I, I'm, I'm crazy. <laughs> when it comes to that, I like, like I said, I love to entertain. It, it's kind of in the moment. It's not something that I even plan. So if that comes out, it's supposed to be. Yeah, you mentioned you were crazy. A lot of people will say that maybe you're crazy for taking on this sort of challenge as well too. But I, f I feel like you are someone who's also wanted to kind of bridge into challenges like this and then move into maybe boxing as well soon. Is that on the, the agenda for you down the line? Yeah, so like I said, I've, I've had two professional boxing fights, won them both, both by, you know, great KOs. Um, and yeah, I see myself going back into that 100%. It's so, uh, enemy territory here for uh, Platinum Perry. He'll be for, uh, taking you on in, in London. How do you think he'll take to the uh, away crowd? Yeah, it's, it's always difficult for anybody that's coming in if they're not used to it. I think. The difference with Platinum Perry, he's used to being the bad guy. So, you know, if you're used to being the bad guy with that, you're, you're going to get negative, uh, you know, appeal when you walk into an arena. But at the same time, I think he's been that so long now. There, a lot of peers, a lot of fans over here as well. People, a lot of people do like him, like his energy, like his, his, uh, you know, his character. Um, but it's my home turf, so yeah, he's definitely going to be hostile for him. But you know, he, I don't think it's going to change how he fights. 
A couple of things I want to get your thoughts on. First of all, with KSI joining in the gym. Uh, how has KSI been in the gym? What can you take from him and seeing him, watch him as well, and him kind of dedicating himself to the sport? Boxing. Yeah, that's the that's the key thing. He actually is dedicating himself, um, mind and body. He's been in every day, putting in the work. I've seen it myself. I think everyone can see the physicality, you know, how, how he's changed physically. Um, but I, I get to see that a little bit more. And he's, I'm very impressed at how quickly he's progressed, but not, not, not shocked. It's because one, my coaches don't have it from anybody. If, they, if you're with my coaches, they, they will push you ext extremely hard. But um, also just his attitude towards getting pushed at, uh, to that level. He's got a great attitude to training. Um, and uh, I kind of look forward to this fight, but more so the next one. Obviously, he didn't get the, the opponent he actually wanted, yeah. so it's more so the fights that are to come later. A lot of talk about that fight with Jake Paul down the line. What have you made of Jake Paul's entrance into boxing, and how do you think the two would get on KSI and Jake Paul in the ring? Yeah, you know what? Again, Jake Paul's he's made a lot of noise, um, and rightly so. He's winning at the moment. Um, I have to say I'm, a, I'm, a I'm an advocate for what he's pushing for. With regards, especially in the mixed martial arts world, so that's my world, and he's actually pushing for for us to get paid better, paid properly. Um, so you know, I, I support him in that. Yeah, he can he can come across a, like that character you don't want to like, um, definitely. But um, in terms of what I've seen with KSI, I'm sorry, but if they if they fought, then it's going to be a problem. I saw a picture. It, the picture had yourself, Chris Eubank Jr., Israel Adesanya, mm -hmm. Anti Joshua. And you're all supporting Lawrence Okoli during his fight against Mikhail C. He's like big power in that fight. Can we expect big names coming out to sit to watch your fight on August 20th? Yeah, it's weird though, because uh, as much as you, exactly what you just said, there's a lot of you know great names there, but there's a lot of shows that are happening on the exact mm. same night. You know, mm. I mean, I think you would you probably would have seen a lot of those kind of guys at the fight. Mm. Had a lot of these guys not they're going to be fighting themselves, you mm. know, and it's going to it's going to drag people in different ways. But I think everyone's going to feel the UK energy on that night. You know, you got myself fighting, you got Brendan fighting, you got Leon Edwards fighting, um, and you've got uh, Anthony Joshua fighting as well. All on the same, it's, I think it's gonna be an amazing night for the UK. Let's stick with Anthony Joshua there. He'll be fighting over in Saudi Arabia against Alexander Usyk in the rematch for the unified heavyweight titles. Your thoughts on that fight? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a difficult fight. He's obviously felt how difficult that fight was. Um, I feel the game plan was completely wrong the first time. Uh, sometimes you have to accept where you are inferior at, and that is boxing skill, mm. with regards to Usyk. So I think it's like, you know, some people you can be like, you know, I think my skill's going to be better. You know, you can you can kind of push yourself. But with somebody that has that kind of experience, his coach should have said, yeah, it's not going to be a boxing fight. It's it's going to be rough, and you know, you got to make it ugly. It's going to be, it, you got to be in his face, in the pocket. Um, use your uh, athleticism, use your size, use your power. Um, and he needs to do that this time. He needs to go forward trying to get a knockout. Michael, hypothetically, if you have to find yourself in the ring with Usyk, how would you kind of adapt and try to battle his style? The difference is my style is very different to an, an AJ style. My style is the, the more technical, is the more um, unorthodox, is the more um, uh, frustrating. So as much as he's a great boxer, my footwork will get me in and out of trouble during that fight, whereas AJ doesn't have that same ability. He's a, big, a bigger guy uh, to me, a lot bigger guy to me. His, his, his attributes are very different to my attributes. So how we would address the fight is completely different. So if I had his attributes, again, I would try to get in, make it a little bit more um, ugly, um, land and land, as, land pouch, try to get the fight over and done with as quickly as possible. And if that means I, I get knocked out in the process, he can't worry about losing the fight in a bad way. He needs to go in there to really win a fight. If he tries to be technical, he'll just lose on, for, uh, over a longer period of time. Final couple of questions from me. We've seen that you're um, looking for the next big rap star. We've seen lavish yeah. entrances from yourself too. Can we expect something from you on August 20th, something lavish? Oh yeah, oh, I'm, I'm always uh, pushing for something uh, exciting. So yeah, definitely. Let me get your prediction for your fight with Mike Perry. Oh, it's uh, an embarrassment for him, bloody mess, then a knockout. MVP Michael Venom Page, thank you so much for speaking to Boxing Social. Wish you all the best for August 20th. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, sir.